This is Pastor Overall on WLOV 1240. I'm so glad you've joined us this evening for the Louisville There Is Hope Radio Ministry, sponsored by Outreach Christian Fellowship, located at 5312 Shepherdsville Road. I want you to open your hearts and open your minds, open your spirits to the Word and the Spirit of Almighty God, and let God come in and heal your hurts and heal your needs. Meet every need in Jesus' name. God is so good. God loves you. Just right now, I want you to just praise Him right now where you are. If you're in your car, if you're washing dishes, doing clothes, tending to the kids. Let this song go into your spirit because there's victory in Jesus. There's victory in no place else, only in Jesus. And God's going to fix it for you. Move the very hope. Just praise Him right now. Enter to a spirit of praise. And the Word of God gives us the promise that He inhabits the praise of His people. Let's just praise Him right now. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Let the song minister to you. Praise you, Lord. Praise you. Today is my day of victory and your day of defeat. God's going to do it. God is going to do it. He's going to do it. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Victory, Jesus. Victory, Jesus. Victory, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, let's enter into a word of prayer right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, and we give you all the praise. We know that you are the only one that can really fix it. We know that you can do it. We know that with you, all things are possible. And Father, we glorify you. We thank you, Father. We praise you and we worship you. And I ask you, Father, for your anointing and your presence to flow through this radio ministry in Jesus' name and touch the heart and the mind. Because, Lord, there is hope and there's victory in Jesus. Father, we love you. We praise you. Not me, Lord, but you have your way and glorify yourself. Show up. Show out and show off in Jesus holy name amen you know something God is so good and God loves you so much you know some God has a special word every word is special but God got something special today you know I love him so much and he loves you and I love you but but you know some you can't compare it to the love of God he loves you a whole lot more you know right now I want you to look in your Bibles the first Kings and the 17th chapter and starting at the seventh verse, you know something, regardless of the situation, the problem that we go through, regardless of how bad things may be, there is hope and it's in Jesus. God will never, ever fail you, regardless of what we see. We get caught up so much in what we see and what we hear instead of walking in what we know, what God has 
proven himself to be in our lives. God is your God. He's your God. Say that with me. God is my God. Forget about your mama and your daddy, your sister, brother. Forget about the preacher. Forget about the deacon. Just leave that. I'm going to leave that alone. Forget about that. God's your God. Say it with me. God is my God. He's my God. You know something? If you look at this, it says sometime later, sometime later, the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, talking about the prophet. The word of the Lord came to the prophet. You know something? The word of the Lord just don't come to prophets. The word of the Lord comes to everybody. Sinner or saint, black, white, green, blue, it makes no difference what nationality you may be. The word of the Lord comes to the prophet, but it comes to his people, the, the creation of Almighty God. And it says, the word of the Lord came to him, and it says, go at once to Zarephath in the region of Saddam and stay there. And it says, I have directed a widow there to supply your needs, to supply you with food. She, she's going to give you food. She's going to give you water. She's going to take care of you. This is what the word of the Lord came to the prophet. That was the prophet's word from God. You know something? It's up to us to even believe the word of God or it's us up to us to even to, 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 to bypass or to push it aside. But regardless if you push it aside or not, God's word does not change. The instructions and the, and the loving kindness and the compassion of God does not change. God's word is a comfort. I know sometimes it may sting, but the word of God says he loved those whom he chastens and whom he corrects. We have children, if you got children or grandchildren, that you see kids on the street and in your neighborhood and everything. Back in the day, the neighbor would correct the kids. They wouldn't correct them because they was nasty. The, the people, not the kids, praise God. But the people, the neighbor would correct them because they had a great love for them and they wanted them to be more than what they are. And that's one thing we need to get back to a little bit. And it says he told him, God, the word of God told the prophet to go. And the prophet took a step knowing his God. He took a step in the word of God. He took a step and being led by the word of God. God gave him explicit instructions where he was supposed to go, who he was supposed to meet up with, and what would take place. And then and there, glory to God. Then and there, he got the instructions. He girded himself up with the word of God, and he went out on the journey. He took that step. And it says, so he went to Zarephath. And it says, when he came to the town gate, a woman was there gathering sticks, and he called to her and asked, would you bring me a little water in a jar so I may drink? In other words, so I may quench my thirst. And it says, and she was going to get it. And then he called her again. And he said, bring me please a piece of bread. He told us, look, not only do I want some water, because God told me that you was going to meet my need. You was going to sustain me. You was going to, 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 he's going to use you to minister to me. Now, regardless of her situation, God's word didn't change concerning what he gave the prophet. I'm going to say it again. Regardless of her state, that didn't change the word of God that God gave to the man of God. Regardless of whoever it is that God brings across your pathway, that God's going to minister to you, you don't know what state they may be in. You don't know what condition they may, may be in, but if they fit the bill that God spoke to you, step on in that and don't deter. Don't look at their situation. Don't look at their problem. Trust the word of God that he gave you because you're going to find out in a moment that how God's going to work a double miracle. God is still in the miracle working business. It just takes a step of faith, a step of obedience trusting in God and trusting in the word, God's word. Amen. 
And then it says, and surely, and this is what she's saying. Surely as the Lord your God lives. She knew he was a man of God. She knew. And says, I don't have any bread, only a handful of flour and a jar and a little oil and a jug. And she says, I'm gathering a few sticks to take home and to make a meal for myself and my son that we may eat. And then she added on and died. You know something? God wants us to do something today, Louisville. He told me, he said, I want you to give this word to my people and give this word to Louisville. God wants you to bring what you have. It may not be a whole lot in your eyes, but it's a whole lot to God. God just wants the raw ingredients. You know, God wants to do a work in our lives and we may have brokenness that we need to bring. We may have doubt or fear. You may have anxiety. You may have depression. God says, I want you today. I want you to bring it to me and I want you to trust me with it. And I want you to watch me work it out and do a wonderful miracle. That's what I want you to do today. God wants you to bring it to him, put it in his hands, casting all your cares upon him. Give him what you have, you, you hold on to it, and God wants you to release it today. Release it. Release it. And put it in God's hands. You know something, if you've been thinking about in, investing in something or, or seeding in something or, or God has been pushing on you to, to take that step, that's, that's, your, that's your little thing of flour, that's your little thing of oil and your little thing of sticks and, and you're looking at the uh, like, oh, it's just going to be a small thing. God said, no, you bring that to me and I'm going to make what's small to you a big thing. God wants to use that. He wants to use it to bless you and turn your life around. And God wants to use it for that you would bless somebody else. God wants to work a double miracle today. And then it says, Elijah said to her, don't be afraid. We got to break out of the spirit of fear. You know something? A man said that, he said the graveyard is is the wealthiest place in the world. You know something, and I, I thought about it, and I I, list, I thought, what's he talking about? And then he cleaned it up, and he finished it up, and he said, there's more books that have not been written in the graveyard. There's more songs that have not been sung and published in the graveyard. There's more inventions that's there in the graveyard. They took them with them to the grave. And they didn't do any good. They didn't prosper. They didn't help anybody else. They, didn't, they wasn't able to, to, to do it, be a prosperous thing in that person's life. God don't want you to take it to the grave. Whatever hope, dream, whatever it may be, he don't want you to take it to the grave. He doesn't want you to take your hurt. You don't have to live with your hurt or live with this or live with that any longer. God wants us to rise up. The man of God said, Elijah said, he said, fear not. Don't be afraid. But he told him, go home and do as you have said. But first, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to make me a small loaf of bread for me, from what you have, and bring it to me. And then make something for yourself and your son. Now see, you know, I was talking to the, the, the producer before we started and and he was sharing with me about producing and stuff. And we're talking about different software that cuts stuff up. You know something? There's nothing like how God cuts things up. Because you know something? What Elijah said, I want you to do what you said. And what you said you was going to do, you was going to go home. And you was going to fix you something to eat for you and your son. And God edited the rest of it. Because she said she wanted to they was going to die after they ate but there's no dying today God said this is not a time of death it's a time of life we know the thief comes to steal to kill and destroy but God has come that we might have life and have it abundantly we don't have to keep living like we're living our children don't have to keep living like they're living Louisville these murders don't have to keep going on like they're going on the time is now God told us last week that if my people who are 
called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek his face and turn, turn from our wicked ways. Then he would hear our prayer from heaven and he would heal the land. And God is saying that today. Take that in your spirit. That went out for somebody and somebody got a hold of that and, and take that and run with that. Just like she took his word and stepped out and took a step of faith. Praise God. God is so good. I want you to say with me, today's my day. Today's my day. Regardless of what you're doing, regardless of where you're at, look at your kids. Put them in your heart. Those that are in your heart that need a move of God, need a healing, proclaim it. Today's their day. I'm standing in the gap for them. Today is their day. Louisville, today is your day. Praise God. And then, then it says, he told her, don't be afraid. Do what you said, but you know something? This is what I want you to do. Make me something to eat. Bring it to me. And then you go home. And you fix something for you and your son. Praise God. The then, this is it. This is it right here. This is the word of God. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. Though This is that word. This is her word. This is her word that God said that she picked up and that she girded her loins with and received strength and received hope. And it says, God said the jar of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day of the Lord sends rain on the land. That was the word that God gave to this woman. That was the word that God gave to this woman. And right now there's a point in her life that she has to make a decision. Right here, right now is a is a turning point in her life. And right here and right now is a turning point in your life. You can do, you can either sit there and die. Or you can gird up the word of, and the word of God uh, about your loins. And, and let that life, let that life quicken you. And take that step. And do what God says. God told me when I was driving down here, he said, when you go to church or your Bible study or your, or your your group, when you go, open your heart to the word of God. God's going to give you a word. And you need to take that word and you need to gird that, that word up uh, around your loins and put it on as a cloak and, and, and don't be afraid and take that step of faith. Take that step of obedience to that word that God gives you and watch God work. Watch him work. And watch him do something in your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is so good. You know something that says hope. God said hope sprang up in this woman. And we know in Romans 5 it says hope maketh not ashamed. Praise God. And it says she went away and did as Elijah had told her. That there was food. Get this. So there was food every day for Elijah and the woman and her family. Why? Because she did not allow fear. She did not allow fear to overtake her. She didn't allow fear to overtake her. You know something? I've been a place in my life to where I, I was so afraid. It was an attack upon me by the devil. And I was so afraid I couldn't move. I was paralyzed in my bed. I, I couldn't move and tears began to run down my face and, 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 and I couldn't shake or nothing. And this thing that was trying to overtake me and, 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 and deep within me, I felt a, a, a stirring and, 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 and was just so precious. And, but deep within me, I could hear this precious name and it was just a whisper, but it was the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus and I felt it rise up within me and, and and I was crying tears was coming down my face but I couldn't even couldn't cry out but it, that that word kept come getting closer and closer and that it kept springing up more and more to till in it got up in my mouth and and all I could do was just whisper Jesus out the corner of my mouth and when I whispered that name that thing began to back off and 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 I 
said it a little louder and it began to back off and it be began to back off and to the point that I screamed out and I yelled out in the name of Jesus, you have no part in me. I bind you in Jesus name. And I got the victory. You know something? It's the same thing today. God is saying the same thing right here, right now. That name that is above every name, that sweet name of Jesus. Don't be afraid. If there's fear, whisper that sweet name. Whisper it. And watch fear back off and watch fear subside and watch faith arise and hope spring forth. And that hope that only comes from the living God that hope maketh not ashamed. Because we're not hoping in a man, we're hoping in God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know something, if you look in 2 Chronicles 20th chapter, 20th verse, and it says, Believe the, the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in the Lord your God, you're going to be established. And God told me to tell you, he said, What can separate you from the love of God? Nothing can separate you, Lord. Mom, dad, nothing can separate you. Brothers, sisters, nothing can separate you. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. And we need to take a stand and say, God, you said you'd bless me all the way down to the, the third or fourth generation. And I'm standing on this word of Almighty God. I'm not going to let the devil have my children. I'm not going to let the devil have my grandchildren, my nieces, my nephews. Louisville, it's time to take a stand. Stand up. Take that step of faith and say, no longer. I'm raising the standard of God high. It's the word of Almighty God. This is what God has told me to do, and I'm going to be faithful. And I'm telling you, if you're faithful to God, he'll be faithful to you. And then you're going to watch God work. He's going to show up. He's going to show out. He's going to show off in your life, in your situation. You know, I got a glorious praise report. I, I found out that this radio ministry, they was listening to it in Luther Luckett. Luther Luckett Correctional Facility. And, and, and I know they're listening right now. There's hope in Luther Luckett. And his name is Jesus. There's no power. No, no, regardless if you're behind bars, there's people that's outside behind bars. They're in a personal cage of doubt and fear and depression. But you know something? Don't let anything define you. For greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And he that's in the world. There is hope. Regardless of where you may be. He said you'll be established. Believe the Lord and you will be established. And then it says this. Believe his prophets and so shall you prosper. You know something, that's just what the woman did. She she believed the Lord. She believed the Lord and she was established. And then she got the word of Almighty God, the word that came from the prophet. You know something, the word that came from the mouthpiece of God. You know something, I'm not. it's not just the, the, the preacher in the pulpit. It could be somebody else. It could be somebody you're talking to. And all of a sudden you get a great witness. You get that witness that that's the word of God. And you need to take it and you need to run with it. Because it, God's word, spoken word, always lines up with the written, written word of God. Always lines up. It always lines up. You know something? God is so good. And he is so good. It says she believed God and she took the word and she girded it up and she stepped out of what I see and what I think. She stepped out of being hungry. She stepped out of that situation and she stepped into a place of grace and faith and hope and mercy. And God came through and she prospered. You can read it for yourself. She prospered. And God worked the work in her life. You know something right now. God is saying believe the word of almighty God. Bring what you have to God. Lay it at the feet of Jesus. Put it upon the altar. You've been carrying stuff too long. Put it out there. You've been holding on to a book or to a manuscript or, or to an idea or, or an invention or whatever it may be. You've been holding too long. You need to release it. Give it to God and let God do do what he wants to do with it. I'm not telling you to let it go. I'm telling you to take a step of faith. And say God here it is. I'm ready to take that step of faith. And watch what God does. 
If you need prayer right now, if you need prayer to take that step, if you need prayer, 571-1240. You know, God said it ain't over till God says that it's over. It's not over till God says that it's over. God told me to tell you, God says it's time to live and not die. That's what he told the woman. He said, look, go on, do what you said you're gonna do. But when you go, cook me something and then come back and cook yourself something. There was no death in that, it's only life. Right now, if you need somebody to stand with you, if you need a healing, if you need a prayer, if you need whatever it may be, the word of God says, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. There it is again, victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. 571-1240 Louisville, the lines are open. We know God is a miracle working God. He's an awesome God, he is so good. It ain't over till God says that it's over. People can count you out, the devil can count you out, the doctor can count you out. You may count yourself out, but God ain't counted you out. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. You know, I got a prayer request when I was driving in this this evening. We want to pray for Charlie at Louisville. We're stronger together than we are apart, and we want to lift him up. I need you to agree with me. For three strong cords, not easily broken. It's it's me, it's you, it's God, and the cord won't be broken. God is going to move in His life. And Father, in Jesus' name, we lift up Charlie to you, and we're asking you for your will to be done. We're asking you to glorify yourself and we ask you to do great and awesome things in his life. In Jesus' name. We claim the victory. Devil, you are a liar. And we believe the report of Almighty God. And we love you. For he said, it's well with my soul and we love you and praise you, Lord Jesus. Father, I lift that couple that I met last week. We lift them to you and we're asking you to minister and move in their lives in Jesus' name. And glorify yourself. God, you are so good. You are so good. Father, we lift up Sister Susan right now to you. We're, we're lifting up, Father, the, uh, Brother Rice's sister in Jesus' name. We're asking you to move mightily in the name of Jesus. We lift up Manon to you and we're asking you to move mightily in Jesus name you supply the increase but you can also shrink tumors and eradicate cancer and open up blinded eyes and heal the broken heart and we're claiming the victory we're thanking you for it show up show out and show off in Jesus name and we thank you we thank you Lord. you know something right now if you can't call in and but it's in your spirit and you're need help somebody to agree with you you need help somebody to agree with you and stand with you right now in your car right now just to speak it out god this is what i've been holding on to this is what you, you gave me this more so you you birthed this idea you birthed this in my spirit i'm ready to run with it. i'm ready to take that step if you need somebody to pray which we praying for you right now father in the name of jesus we break every chain of fear and doubt in Jesus' name, and we loose your will in their lives. We loose the strength to take that step. We loose the, Father, that that's choking out the hope. Father, choking out the faith. We curse that in Jesus' name. We break the bands and the chains off in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, faith and hope rise up within them in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you. Strengthen to take that step in the blessed name of Jesus. We're here for you. We're Louisville. We're here. If you need prayer, regardless of what it is, that mother that called in last week, we're claiming the victory for you right now. We're, we haven't stopped praying for you. All Louisville praying for you. We know you got the victory, and we believe by faith that the symptoms, just like God cursed that, Jesus cursed that victory, and it dried up. The symptoms have dried up. They're drying up, and they're, they're, they're glory to God. And they're being blown away by the new breath of the Holy Spirit. Father, do a work in her life in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. 
571-1240. If you don't know Jesus, if you don't know him and you want to know him, if you don't know him and, you, and, and you're lost and you feel like there's no hope and you're broken, we know somebody. We know somebody that can do it. Not just can, but will. It ain't over till God says that it's over. It's not over till God says that it's over. God said it's time to live and it's time to not die. It's not time to die. You know something right now we want to pray for you if you can't get to a phone. If you can't get to a phone, give us a call at 571 or If you can't get to a phone, right now we want to, I want you to pray this prayer with me and invite Jesus into your life. And God told me when you, when we invite Jesus into our life, we invite him into our situation and circumstances. And when he comes in, he, when he comes in, he's coming in packing, bringing blessings and, 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 and healing and deliverance and, and, a, and a new life. I want you to pray this with me right now. Father, I ask you to forgive me for my sins. I ask you to wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. I ask you, in Jesus' name, to come in and take out all the old. I release it. I give you my old life. And I should take it all. And right now, I ask you to fill me, fill that place with the blood of Jesus. And I ask you to fill me. I receive your new life that is fresh and it's abundant in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it. I thank you that right now I'm a child of Almighty God. I thank you right now that I have a life that is not hopeless, but is filled with great promise and hope in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord. Father, I bind the spirit of suicide in Jesus' name. You have no authority and you have no power. I bind the spirit of addiction in the name of Jesus. You have no authority. You have no power in Jesus' name. And Father, I loose your will. And I should have bound what I bound and loose what, you've lo what I've loosed in the name of Jesus. And I glorify you. We thank you for those lives that have been changed, those souls that have been saved in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, now, now, now brother, sister, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I'm so glad you're in the family of God. I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for him. I thank you for what you're doing in their lives, and I give you the glory. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift them to you. Here's the babies. And Father, I ask you to keep them and protect them and love on them. In the name of Jesus. God, we love you so much. And we praise you. And we worship you. Louisville, there is hope. There's hope. And it's in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I love you so much. Remember, it ain't over till God says that it's over. And God says it's the time to live and not die. The thief comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But God, with the precious gift of his son, gives us his great and wonderful promise. And take this word and gird it up about your loins. He said, I'm come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I love you, and God loves you, and there's victory in Jesus. This is Pastor Overall. I want to thank you for listening to our weekly radio broadcast, Louisville, There Is Hope, sponsored by Outreach Christian Fellowship, located at 5312 Shepherdsville Road. You can contact us at ocflouisville at gmail.com or Louisville, There Is Hope at gmail. You can contact us on our Facebook page. Or you can contact us by telephone at 502-653-9326. And we'd like to invite you to our next radio broadcast, Louisville There Is Hope, on WLLV 1240, Friday at 6 p.m. Louisville, we're stronger together than we are apart. I love you, God loves you, and there's victory in Jesus.